So it wasn't a good night for Big Joe Joyce um, against Gilles Zhang, who was absolutely punch perfect. And I'm going to talk about what happens with Joe now. Where does he go? What's next for him, if anything? And obviously, what's next for Zhang and what does he deserve? So going into this fight, just like the first fight, I predicted a late stoppage from Joe Joyce. Um, and the reasons for that were, obviously, Zhang won the first fight pretty convincingly. Neil and Joe, with that left hand, couldn't miss him. Um, and Joe just seemed to be walking into shots all night, hardly evaded anything. And anytime Zhang threw a left hand, it landed. And it had its effect. And it paid a price for Joe, and his eyes shut. Um, and the referee, rightly, I think, stopped the fight, which was a good call the first time. But it was just signs in the first fight that Joe was starting to come into the fight a wee bit more. And, and, and Joe's, Joe's thing is his resilience and his toughness and his fitness. And I was just seeing signs that Zhang was starting to tear. Um, so that's why I predicted him to maybe stop him late in this fight. I thought that he'd, he'd weather the storm this time and he, he'd put it on Zhang and, and kind of force a stoppage with his, with his engine and his fitness. <coughs> Going into this fight, first of all, before the fight, Joe looked, and I'd never seen him look on edge like he did on the ring walk. Um, for me, that wasn't a bad thing. I kind of thought that he's in the zone, he's fired up, he, he's looking like he's ready for it here. Um, but it was a different look than we've seen before. First round of the fight, not a lot happened. Bit of a feeling out round for the guys. Joe was doing the right things. He was moving to his left away from the southpaw backhand, which is what you should do. Um, second round then started and Jang started to land. Hurt Joe as well. And there was a sign just in the second round where he hurt Joe. And Joe's legs visibly kind of shaken up and stiffened up. And I thought that Zhang could have maybe applied a bit more pressure and, and, and tried to get rid. I think that anyone who's confident and backs their own engine would have put it on the opponent in, in a similar situation. But he didn't. He kind of just kept doing what he was doing and I just thought that maybe you know if Joe can weather this out I don't know if Zhang backs his own fitness levels in his own engine anyway we all seen what happened in the third round I think the knockout shot was 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 beautiful it was a kind of a a throwaway left hand it was a, a left hand not the land well not the hurt Joe but it was a left hand thrown the land the south pod. It was almost like a hybrid shot. It wasn't. It wasn't a straight shot, and it wasn't a complete hook. It was. It was something in between. It came down right on the Joe's chin as well. Beautiful, beautiful shot. But um, where does Joe go from here? I, I, I don't know. I think that the Joe's. You know, Joe's big thing is his resilience, and his fitness, and he's he's got the fitness. You know, he's always been fit. I remember watching him when he hadn't had a pro fight, you know, being able to do 10, 12 rounds of fast paced pads. Um, but the resilience could be gone there. Uh, this is, I mean, we haven't seen, we all had this kind of image that Joe Joyce was indestructible and he had the best chair in the world and everything just bounced off his head. But in the last fight he was hurt a few times and obviously his eyes shut. In this fight he was hurt and then he was knocked out. And when that aura of invincibility goes, what what does he have left? Um, it was hard to watch last night because I'm very fond of Big Joe and I have a lot of time for him. But at 38, it's going to be a long road back. And, and there's still, you know, fighters... He's not, he's not a fighter that you want to fight because he is fit and he would give, you know, a lot of people a hard night. So, we're, you know, who, who's going to fight him in the comeback? What, what, what direction does he go? It's, I mean, I, I've seen a clip that he said it's not the end for him. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that it works out for him, but it's difficult to see that. Zhang, I mean, he's got the world at his feet at 40 years old. Unbelievable. If you look at his, his last you know, last three fights, Hergovic, which was officially a loss, but he beat Hergovic, and he beat Joe Joyce twice. That is a pretty good resume. Um, he's a quality, quality fighter. 
I love how he boxes. He's a he's a big twenty stone man who moves well, but his combination punching is is sublime. He's he's outstanding, genuinely a, a very very good fighter. I think he deserves a crack at one of the big boys, whether that be Tyson Fury or Usyk or maybe AJ in a big fight. <coughs> and I think of what what could happen. Obviously, you know Fury's fighting in Ghana and someone who was critical of that fight at the start. I can see why he's doing it. He's getting maybe thirty million dollars to fight a guy who's having his first professional boxing match. So I mean, who turns that down? But for legacy reasons, Tyson Fury's resume needs to be a bit better if you look at after the Wilder trilogy, which was incredible. And it was Chisora and White and Nganu. It needs to be something better in that mix for legacy reasons. And I think Big Tyson knows that himself. And something that might interest Tyson would be a fight in China, Beijing potentially, against Zhang. I mean, that's, that is a money spinner. Um, I wouldn't mind the trip with TNT, I've never been to China. Um, but he deserves a big night. Um, and he gives he gives the top heavyweights in the world a fight, genuinely. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I think that, that Joe, it's gonna be a hard road back, but let's not take any, anything away here from Zhang. He is an incredible fighter. He's been on a great run of wins, should be three wins, if you, you know, like me, think that the Hernovich fight, he, he won that fight. And he deserves a crack at one of the big boys at 40 years old. I mean, he's given, given us old timers uh, a wee bit of hope. Um, he's a credit to himself and to his country. He's a bit of a character too. So let's hope that Jang gets the fights that he deserves.